Hi, everybody. Welcome to this. Now, let us discuss what are the new features that is available in Oracle Integration 3 and was not available in Chan 2. So, like I mentioned earlier, Oracle Integration 3 is uses Oracle Redwood theme. Every screen, every action you use in integration uses the Redwood theme. The Oracle integration user interface reflects the Oracle Redwood look and feel. All the screenshots, icons, and terminology has been updated to meet the Redwood theme. So you will see this as a big change in the user interface. The second is important. When you create a integration instance, you will find a new option called shape. Of course, version is also there, which version you would like to create. But again, it is for a temporary. Till the time Gen 2 is completely deprecated, this too will be available. But the new option is shape. Shape determines your upgrade window of your integration tree. When you create an instance in the OCI console, you have to choose a shape, either development and or production. So it decides when the when your instance will get updates and actually the shape determine determines when the instance receive monthly and quarterly updates. So there are two windows of the updates. One is monthly, second is quarterly. Instances which are created with shape development will get updates two weeks before instances with a production shape. So your development instances will be passed before your production. So that if some issues comes in development, you can raise a request with Oracle and say, don't apply, don't upgrade my production because there's an issue or you please fix the bug and then only apply that new version in my production instance. That is where this shape help you. Please not. You cannot change the shape of an instance once it is created. If you want to change, you have to terminate your instance and then create a new instance with the shape of your choice. This is again an important real-time billing and usage is data. As of now, this is not applied but will be applied soon. So billing happens on the actual usages not the configured number of messages back. On the metric explorer page, the new graphs shows the number of messages that you have procured and the number of messages you have used. View data for a single instance or all the instances in a compartment and examine the data using a sophisticated analysis tool. Oracle integration homepage metric. So now the homepage of Oracle integration has been changed. And that, that's where you will see the total number of messages you have received, the total errors that you have received and the number of failed integrations. You can also view existing integration or create new ones from the home page using that button called create an integration. So you don't need to navigate to the integration option. If you are on the home page, you would like to create a new integration, click on a create an integration button, will take you to the integration page directly and you can create the integration. You can view all the recent activities with the status. This is one of the long awaiting feature, cut and paste elements in the integration a canvas. So let's suppose you have configured one action. Now you don't want it to have this action there. You want to cut it and paste it at some other location. So you can do this now. It allows you to cut and paste elements, actions 
and invokes in the integration canvas. So earlier we used to use reposition. Now, instead of reposition, you will have cut and paste. This enables you to move elements to other places in your integration and eliminates the need to recreate them. So let's suppose you would like to cut this notification action. So you click here on three dots and click on this cut. When you click on a cut, you will see the plus symbol will be activated. You click on the plus symbol, right click and then paste it. You see paste. So wherever you want to paste, you can do this as per your choice, but you cannot do before trigger. You cannot do before and. Expandable and collapsible action. Again, a new feature. You can expand and collapse logic actions in the integration canvas. For example, I scope. Under scope, you can have multiple child actions or the invox. Similarly, under while, for each switch and others to see their child actions and view error. For example, you have a switch. Under switch, you have configured multiple branches. Under multiple branches, you have configured multiple actions. So your canvas will be a big canvas. Now you want it to look at everything. So you can collapse. Now later you want it to expand it to view all the configured action under switch. So you see this small icon, you click here. And here you can see the actions configured under switch. Not with the switch, you can see this collapse icon for all the actions like scope, while, for each switch. Control activity stream data retention during integration activation. In part of Gen 2, you have one data retention under setting, which you use how much data you wanted to retain, how much you wanted to purge. Now, this has been removed as part of Gen 3. Then how it will be controlled? So when you activate your integration, you will be prompted to select the tracing level. That will decide how much data will be retained for that particular integration. The level you select determine how long your data is available in the activity stream. So there are three. One is called production. When you select a production for a particular integration, the data will be logged for 32 days. When you select audit, it will be retained for eight days, but will have more logs. And when you choose debug, not recommended, it will retain data for 24 hours. So basically for production, it logs all the actions with exception of loops and invoke logger actions inside of loop. When you choose audit, it logs the same data to the activity stream as production along with wire payloads of triggers and invox. So what is wire payload? Wire payloads are the payloads sent and received over the wire by Oracle integration while you communicate with third party application. So these communication either happen through triggers or invox. When you choose the third option called debug, logs the same data to the activity stream as production and audit options along with all the payloads and all the actions inside loop and data will be retained in the activity stream only for 24 hours when you choose debug so here these three options will be available activity stream enhanced like i mentioned earlier <clears throat> to improve performance Message payloads are accessible differently in activity stream based on their size. So navigate to the child integration instance on the instance detail page. And now you can also download binary payloads. For example, you have some attachments. If you would like to see that attachment, you can download that as well. So here you see. We will see all in detail as and when we will move further. This is again a great enhancement. Instance ID in Gen 2 was integer, but in case of Gen 3, it has been changed to a string. So you have to change your few applications as well, like database. Maybe you are storing your integer, your 
instance ID in your database and you mark this column as an integer. Now, when you will move to Gen 3, then you have to change the column type from integer to string. So here you see this, this is how your instance ID looks like. New mapper functions. So the three new functions has been introduced. One is called match. Second is called replace. One of the long awaited function. Now you want it to replace some character with some other character. So you can use it and tokenize. It returns a sequence of a string constructed by splitting the input whenever a separator is found. Test mapper enhancement. The test mapper supports the testing of mappings you created. This, this feature was also available in Gen 2. But if you have had created some variables and tracking variables, you want to populate some dummy value in Gen 2. You were not able to do. But here you can put the dummy values in your tracking variables and local variables. And then you can test like you can see tracking variables and local variables you create. You can assign the dummy values and test it. Mapper functions, operators and XSLT statement embedded help. Now you don't know how to use that function. Let's suppose we have a function called match. We would like to see how to use that function. So you can click on that function and the embedded hab will be there. Earlier, it used to redirect us on a different page. Now you can see the help inside the mapper itself. So that's all about this. Thank you. Bye-bye.